Hi, this is Ivan from Flat 6 Motorsports, and if you recently installed an aftermarket exhaust that has vacuum actuated valves, they usually give you this little key remote. Now, if you don't want to carry that around with you, today we're going to show you how to program that to your home link buttons in your overhead console. Now that we're in the vehicle, first thing you want to do is have your ignition on, and then you have three home link buttons in your overhead console. You want to press and hold the outer button. So that's one and three. You want to press and hold those until the light starts flashing. You'll see it right here. Usually takes about 10 to 15 seconds for it to start flashing, and that'll put it into the programming mode. Now that it's flashing, you want to determine which button you want to turn on the exhaust. And we're going to pick number one. And once that's on, you'll see the light is flashing, and then we'll go outside to the front of the vehicle and use the remote. Now, once that light in the overhead console is flashing, you have about five minutes to program the vehicle, so that's plenty of time to get out of the vehicle. You wanna take your remote, hold it near the front bumper, and press which button you want to program to that spot. So for here, we're gonna do exhaust open. So we're gonna press and hold, and as you hold it, you'll get confirmation from the turn signals. They'll flash three times to let you know that it did program. And there we go. And you're going to repeat this process for the other button. So we're going to go back into the car and select the next button. All right, and now that the second button is pressed, we're going to go ahead and assign the close feature to that button. And once again, to get confirmation, we're going to have the turn signals flash three times. And there we go. And that's pretty much it, you're all set. So now anytime you wanna go ahead and open or close your exhaust, you're gonna either hit button one or button two on your overhead console, and you don't need this key fob with you anymore. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it informative. We'll catch you on the next one.